guest this afternoon is Ben Austin, who is the head coach for Eastbourne Borough, a team that Blackpool played last year in the FA Cup. And we've actually forged a bit of a special relationship with Eastbourne Borough. I'm going to ask Ben all about that. He is he is auctioning off a, a first team shirt, which has been signed by all the players, which is to help his testimonial. So good afternoon, Ben. How are you? Good afternoon, Lee. Uh, I'm very good, thank you. Yeah, just uh, finished the day's work at school. So uh, looking oh. forward to speaking with yourself. Tell me a little bit about how um, Eastbourne Borough have kind of got a bit of a soft spot now for Blackpool, haven't you, since we played you in the FA Cup? What what happened and what did Blackpool do, if you can just... Um, well, apart from beating us 3-0. Yes. Um, which, which, in fairness, uh, you know, we wasn't unhappy with. I mean, we know the quality of the Blackpool side, so... Um, but no, it was just, I'm not quite sure how it sort of came about. I think there was just a lot of interaction over social media between uh, the fans of the two clubs and, um, you know, our commercial manager, Sean, um, did a great job of, of sort of uh, communicating with the Blackpool fans about the day and the event, because obviously yeah. not having fans in the ground. So, mm. um, and it just seemed to be that the supporters from Blackpool were, you know, just so sort of. I suppose friendly with with the supporters from Eastbourne Borough and from with the staff and everybody that it, it kind of just developed yeah. from there really. And I think the club actually waived their expenses, didn't they, for for you to make sure you got as much money as we can for the club. So you know that was another kind gesture from Blackpool Football Club that they Absolutely. did to help 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 you guys out. And that's one of the reasons why we you know we're keeping an eye on you, and you've been keeping an, an eye on us. Anyway, you've got this uh, testimonial coming up. Uh, yep. I had a little bit of a look at the uh, newspaper article and it said that you played for Eastbourne Borough or you've been with them for 12 years and you left in 2012 and you didn't get a testimonial where many people thought you should have done back then. Yeah, You've come back to coach now. I, I think you've only just started in that role. Yeah. I'm, I'm right in believing that. Yeah. And the club have agreed to give you the testimonial, which you should have basically got in 2012 for, 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 for the long service you had. The problem yeah. is... COVID is here. You, you've got this um, testimonial, which is going to be on Sunday, which is exactly the same day, obviously, Blackpool in the playoff finals. But for you, it's going to be a big day, but you can only uh, allow 25% capacity in. Am I right. right? In Yeah. So you've reached out to Blackpool fans. I saw your post on A View from the Tower, which is a Blackpool fans uh, web, web forum. And you were reaching out saying you had this signed shirt and will Blackpool be interested, Blackpool fans be interested in a, in, in a raffle? I think that's how I believe it. I believe it's gone yet. Yeah. Yep. So tell us how you got this shirt and uh, tell us all about the testimonial and how it's going to help you and how we uh, can help you as Blackpool fans. So, yeah, I, I, I got to my 10th year of, as a player with East Bomb Borough in 2010. Yep. Um, but that coincided actually with two other players um, who'd also been there for 10 years, um, exactly the same year. And right. uh, we sort of had a conversation about how having three testimonials in one year probably wasn't going to work. So I, I sort of stepped back and said to the other two, look, you guys go ahead because I, I feel like I've still got a few years left playing. Um, and those two guys had their testimonial that season and the following season. And then 2012 was actually the final year that I played, um, which was my 12th year. Right. Um, but it just never materialised. I don't quite really know why. Um, there was talk of a, a testimonial, but it was never officially offered, I don't think. And then um, we had a new manager come in after the, the manager and the coach who've been with us for that sort of whole rise up to the Blue Square Premier um, right. had parted ways. And um, yeah, I left at the end of that season and it just it just never happened. So yeah. um, that was a shame. And, and yeah, it's funny to get one nine years sort of down the line. Um, yeah, you've come back now as a, as a coach, haven't you? Are you enjoying that role? Uh, you yeah. Know, a bit, bit of coaching? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's um, To be honest, the manager, Danny Bloor, had asked me previously. I know Danny from just local football. And, you know, um, when I left Eastbourne Borough, I did a couple of one-year stints at two other local clubs. Right. Um, and Danny was manager at, um, or involved in the, in the management side at both of those clubs. Um, and he'd asked me to come back and help out, really, just on the kind of defensive side, because uh, I played my whole non-league career as a, as a defender. Um, okay. And to be honest, I was always interested, but never had the time. Um, right. just around work and family but then Covid hit and obviously yeah. people didn't have very much to do so I was kind of sitting around with a bit of time on my hands and he asked me to come in pre-season and help with a couple of sessions which I did and then it just snowballed from there really um, right. seemed to go well and yeah so I'm now back there as uh, as a coach along with Sergio Torres um, who's the first team coach and um, 
yeah so i'm in my 13th year but my first as a coach as so, a coach yeah 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 but it, it, it's been good it's been a, it's been a, we had a good season until it got curtailed right. um yeah finished in third spot at that point so we were happy with what we achieved Tell me about this shirt. It's um, it, it's obviously signed by. It's it's this season's shirt, the shirt that Blackpool played you in when we went down to play you. I take it. How Correct. did you acquire this shirt? So that was the good work of our commercial manager, Sean, who I believe has a relationship with. Um, um, I don't actually know the guy's name, but it's um, uh, one of the one of the guys who works at Blackpool. Um, okay. And Essentially, we we asked the question, and, and mainly because normally with a testimonial, you find different ways to sort of raise funds to cover the yeah. costs of the testimonial itself, and you know ultimately make a bit of profit for the for the player myself. That you know that's ultimately what the, the point of the testimonial is, mm -hmm. um, certainly at non-league level. Um, but most traditional methods were off the table. Things like you know golf days, race nights, um, you know charity auctions that sort of thing we we couldn't do any of that stuff in person because of the restrictions with covid right. so we just started thinking about ways that we might be able to and i'm unfortunate i've got a few friends and an ex um teammates who are playing in the pro game who have sent down signed shirts and it was sean's idea and said look why don't i see if we can get one from blackpool because of the relationship that's been built any Blackpool fans watching this, you can help. Um, there is, I'm going to put the links down below uh, for you to click onto and you can just go on the raffle. There's a raffle. There's so many tickets, isn't there, available? Is that right? Is it yeah, limited amount of tickets? Yeah, it's, lim it's limited to 2,000, which, uh, to be honest, I, I, you know, if we got anywhere near that, I'd be, <laughs> be delighted. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, but yes, it's, it's limited to 2,000 tickets. It's £5 a ticket. Um, okay. And obviously, somebody will win the the shirt that's signed by the current squad. And obviously, with you guys going into a playoff final on, on oh, it's uh, good. That's... honestly, it's a major prize for, for any, honestly for any Blackpool fan. It, it's huge. You're obviously more huge than Eastbourne Borough fans are not going to want a Blackpool shirt. But for most Blackpool fans out there, this is a, a, a great chance for a fiver to get this signed shirt by the whole team. Uh, you know, in this you know, what, what could be a very historic year. So hopefully, Blackpool fans, I've bought two. So hopefully, you can dig in and get. A ticket five pounds you know i had to try and find ways to get it exposed get exposure and get the link yeah. out there to the blackpool fans and that's why i kind of sort of gate crashed your forum. yeah the forum it's, um, it's it's no problem we don't mind helping out in, in in this sort of thing and you've obviously had a great career and let's hope you get as much money as you can from your testimonial because it's, nice. it's you know it's hard times you're teaching now aren't you is that right you're a teacher now a pe teacher is that right yeah, I've been teaching actually um, for 18 years. So ah. I, I've taught all the way through my non-league playing days. So it's taught alongside it, which, you know, certainly threw up some challenges, especially when we was in the Blue Square Premier and, you know, working in the day and then travelling to Wrexham, Barrow on a Tuesday night. Um, you know, there were some pretty tough times in that regard, you know, trying to balance the two. Um, but yes, still teaching. Which division are Eastbourne Borough in now? So they're now in the Blue Square South, so which is one level below. It's the level that I finished playing at. We got relegated out of the Blue Square Premier. Right. Uh, I think the season before my final season. Um, but to be honest, I think I'm not sure if this stat's correct or not. But I was told by somebody that we we I believe were the only side to have gone into the Blue Square Premier as a part time team and lasted right. for more than one season. Um, wow. we, we managed three years. The first year we did pretty well. I think we finished around 10th. Um, second year became more of a struggle, uh, you know, maintaining that kind of part-time status, working jobs alongside competing. But we stayed up on the final day uh, right. with, a win against, with a win against Oxford at home. And then the third year we, we ultimately got relegated. But yeah, yeah. so there's, there's still in the Blue Square South. Um, so if you get promotion this year, you would go up into... Back up into the Blue Square Premier, and then after that, it's League Two. I do believe you have some family ties to Blackpool as well. Is is that right? I do. Yeah. Um, my my dad especially was was particularly pleased when we drew Blackpool in the FA Cup um, because basically my nan um, my nan grew up in in Blackpool uh, for sort of most oh. of her formative years. She was actually she was born in a place called Hanley in Stoke on Trent, and she was actually a neighbour of Sir Stanley Matthews. Oh wow. Um, uh, yeah, they lived uh, just a couple of doors down from each other. And she used to tell us stories about how, um, you know, being a keen footballer when I was young, she used to tell us stories about how, you know, they would play football in the street and Stanley Matthews would practice his 
sort of passing accuracy by kicking the ball at the girls. Um, <laughs> so, you know, she had plenty of stories about him, but ultimately she um, she got a, uh, you know, without going into too much detail, she got a rheumatic fever and she was told that she needed to move out of, out of the industrial area that Stoke-on-Trent was. So she right. went, to do with her, went to do with her aunt in Blackpool. Ah, okay. And um, yeah, she grew up there. She she worked as a clippy on the trams for, for many years. Oh, um, wow. And she was a very, very keen dancer. She danced at the Tower Ballroom in Blackpool. And we've we've still, my dad's still got a trophy at his house of a, a trophy that she won dancing at the Tower Black. Uh, oh, the tower. wow. Yeah. So, so we've, we've basically, we've got, you know, a lot of family history, um, you know, on my dad's side, certainly in Blackpool. And um, my, my nan's sister, so my auntie, she then moved to Blackpool and lived there for her whole life until very recently, actually, her and her husband, my uncle, uh, they died fairly recently. And my nan wow. met met my granddad in Blackpool. He was in the RAF. Oh, wow. waiting to be posted. He was waiting to be posted to India. And then he went off to India. And when he came back, they got married. And as, as they oh, say, wow. the rest is history. So it was really nice for us. And, and you know, my, my nan and my auntie always used to tell me about the warmth of the Blackpool people and how great it was. Um, yeah. and, and to be honest, it's, I think I said it on the forum, it's been really, really heartwarming to to get the responses that I've got on the forum. You know, people have just been so nice and so supportive. You know, I've had people yeah, course, buying tickets, yeah. people buying yeah. tickets for the game um, and they can't even make it. That, that, that's that's fantastic. And, you know, you mentioned about the COVID thing and, and it is, it's a 25% capacity, which gives us a thousand, we can sell a thousand tickets, but we only get about 450 for a home game at the best of times at the moment. Um, so I don't think we'll get anywhere near that. I know a few um, clubs have sold like virtual tickets, haven't they, to games? You know, I think it's a, a couple of those in, in the FA Cup, wasn't there, where, you know, where they yeah. sold some virtual tickets. So maybe, you know, that's another way you could quickly look, look at it and Blackpool fans could buy a virtual ticket to go, even though we're not going to be there, obviously. Yeah, but, but yeah, it could yeah. be a, another way of well, raising well, funds. I think, I think the problem was you guys would be at Wembley. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, there's not many of us going. We've only got 4,000 tickets. So unfortunately, it's going to be... Um, there's not going to be many there. You know, we would have been taking about twenty five thousand if, yeah, of course, if it would have uh, been normal. But they're only allowing well, they're allowing five thousand, but a thousand tickets have gone to corporate and all, you yeah, know, and NHS and all this. So we've got just under four thousand tickets, which isn't even our season ticket, you know, allowance. So yeah. it's been, but it's better than nothing, you know. We, you know, we were going with no, you know, if I weren't even going to the playoffs, and you know, until we finally got in, you know, what I mean, it, well, it's been I mean, one of those seasons where it was a bit of a dream to get in the playoffs because we, were, you know, we've been coming from behind all the time and had a lot of exactly. games to play. So, but but, but yeah. we've done it. So, no, see if we can. I mean, you know, we're all we're all fully behind it. I mean, we keep a keen eye on what you guys are doing, and and like I say, we've my game kicks off at one, so we'll be finished shortly before you guys kick off. So the plan is yeah. to get in the bar and you know get the Blackpool game on and cheers on. on, and hopefully you can get that promotion that you you know you deserve over the course. Okay. Of so we're right behind you. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you as well next season. Are you worth a cheeky fiver for promotion next season, your team? <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, we're, I think we've got about the third lowest budget in the league, but we're, oh, okay. we're, 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 we'll give it. We've done well this year, but you know, it's like the hard second series, isn't it? We'll see how we get on next year, but yeah, Absolutely. fingers crossed. Well, hopefully one day we'll we'll be able to get you know a preseason or something in 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 the books, and uh, be nice to get the two clubs on the pitch again, but with some fans there. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. And uh, we'll you, do man. our best to raise you some money for this year. I'm, I'm sure Blackpool fans will be mad up for it because it's, it's a great prize. Love it. Thank you, Thank you very much. Appreciate it.